Here's a look at what I believe is a Jeff or mini caulker. We can see that the side has a square cut out opposite of the pump arm. Both sides actually have that kind of square cut out. And that's what I believe is kind of the signature cut that Jeff Orr was doing during this period. I have two other auto caulkers that have that same channel right here and has kind of a nice sight rail. It's chrome plated. These are obviously not the stock parts that would have come on it. I would imagine that this body is probably mid 90s, probably 95, 96, but it has obviously this die hinge and die pneumatics and this Check It Products barrel. I can't remember what this barrel is called. Let's see what it says. J series, J3 series. Uh, J3, JR3 series, I think. So it has an STO bolt, has these square cutouts around the side also. Chrome plating actually looks pretty nice. You can see there's a couple blemishes. Blemish on the top here next to the feed. It has an inline, a WGP inline regulator inside of a red cover. We can also imagine the progression of the inline regs from WGP. They're originally the kind of cylindrical models and then these reg covers were slid over them and then after that they went to the ergo reg. And you can see a tickler switch, the adjuster on front, stock front block, female ASA to male eighth MPT, stainless banjo, almost looks like a cap banjo, bolt, chrome, caulker, detent, die sticky grips. I'll be parting this out and rebuilding the body with WGP parts. Probably keep the vertical ASA and the inline with ergo reg on it. I don't know about the back block. I think this is a cap back block, but uh, seems to kind of line up nicely with the body, so I might leave that on there. Has a unique sticker on the side. Came from a seller on Craigslist. Same pawn shop seller that was selling the Predator, the left feet Predator auto caulker. Do not know the history of this.